this video, I will show you how to blend images together to create a realistic composite in Photoshop. Hey guys, so first we are going to work on the backgrounds and we'll adjust the color and the light adjustments in the background and we will be using few adjustment layers for that. Uh, starting with the new adjustment layer, select the curves, select the hand tool and a bit not too much and go to the red if you pull down it will be cyan and if you go there it will give you red so we will be adding a bit of cyan in our background select the hand tool and and now go to the blue and we'll be adding a bit of blue if you pull it up we'll get blue if it pull it down we will get yellow select the hand tool again and from the shadow section from the shadow which all the sh shadow parts will add the blue tone from here and now we'll be adding another adjustment layer that is color lookup select the color lookup set it to futuristic blink set the blending mode to color and set the opacity to 50 percent now we have finished with our backgrounds and you can group it later we will add few more adjustments to our backgrounds and, and now we will be working on our foreground layer and now we will be working on our foreground layer and we will be using various adjustment layer to blend foreground to background now create a brightness and contrast adjustment layer right click on it create clipping mask set the brightness to minus 50 now we will add another adjustment layer that is a black and white adjustment layer and now why we are adding a black and white adjustment layer because it let us see the light and shadow are perfect or not and if your black and white composition is good then your color composition will be definitely good for that and now we will create a, another adjustment layer that is the curves one right click on it create clipping mask And this is for light and shadow and this is for brightness and contrast now select another curves adjustment layer right click on it create clipping mask and this is for our channel adjustment now turn off the visibility option of the black and white layer go to the channels select the red now you can see in here the background is not so bright and the foreground is way too bright now we'll adjust the red values
set it to green go to the green can see how it got blended together now we will add a luminosity map to blend the colors together create a new layer edit fill 50% gray and set it to luminosity create a hue and saturation layer set the saturation to plus 100 and it help us to to see the colors are here so we can blend the color together group it create a selective color adjustment layer go to the neutrals and set the cyan to like 10 magenta to around like 8 and black to as two and we'll add another adjustment layer that is the hue and saturation and we'll set the saturation to minus 15 now you can see how it got blended together with the foreground and background check on the black and white visibility layer you can see the difference and uh, we will be painting on the highlight areas and for that select the brush tool set the foreground color to black and set the opacity to around like 12, 13% or 14% and we'll be painting on the highlight areas and just reveal those highlight areas Painting the sides. Select the uh, light and shadow adjustment layer. Set the opacity to 9%. And same process. So here we have done with our foreground layer. Now we will go for the next step that is the color grade. And for the color grade, we will add a new adjustment layer that is levels and color balance. Group it together, rename it as color grade. Set the levels to two
two for the two. Now for the color balance, set uh, cyan to minus eight. layers together and rename it as FG foreground and lastly we will work with few adjustments select the brightness and contrast layer set the foreground color to black and we will paint a little bit out the highlights more The exposure to nineteen control I to invert it, set the foreground color to white. Paint along with the highlight areas. Now create a new layer. Set the blend mode to soft light. Select the brush tool. Set the foreground color to white and the opacity to 7%. Just paint on the highlight areas only. Now create uh, one more layer, set it to color dodge. Set the opacity to 70% and just make the cigarette more glowing. Select the exposure layer and set the foreground color to white and we'll add a few more highlights on the eye And the last few adjustments uh, will be working on composing that uh, in the background group we will add a new adjustment layer that is exposure we will create a directional light coming from here set it to 20 control I to invert it select the gradient tool set the foreground color to white 
set the linear gradient and just set it to around like 17 is fine and uh, lastly we are going to blur the edges it's really too sharp in here and we'll mix it together foreground and background for that right click on the foreground layer set it to convert to smart object Now we will add a Gaussian blur filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We will blend it together. Ten percent is fine. Press OK. Now select the Gaussian Blur Smart Filter Mask, press Ctrl I to invert it, select the brush tool, set the foreground color to white, set the opacity to around like 50% and we'll blend it together, blur the edges so it looks more good now create a new layer press control alt shift and e So here is our final output. I would like to know how you feel about this technique in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe me for more updates of my video. Thank you.